What's up guys, Dustin here with Awesome Sauce Vapor, doing the full review on the Fire Luke Mesh 2. Uh, a bunch of you saw the initial impressions. I finally have run through all four of the coil offerings that are for this guy, and can now finally bring you guys all my thoughts on it, because there is a pretty decent chunk. Um, let's go ahead and start with the full specs and everything. Break out the uh, handy dandy cheat sheet. Specifications, uh, 28 millimeters with the five milliliter glass on it. I said it right this time. Uh, height of 47.8 millimeter. Uh, capacity either three or five mil, depending on which glass you're running. Uh, the original fire loop glass is compatible with this. Uh, working wattage between 40 to 90, depending on which coil you're rocking. I'll even grab some of the coils here in a second and give you the actual ratings and everything. Um, 510 thread, 810 drip tip, uh, there are two different materials that at least we offer, I think that's all that's offered right now. There is the metal edition and the graffiti edition. I got a graffiti edition white right here. She looks pretty good on top of the paranormal. Alright, so with that being said, let's go ahead and dive down, get up close and personal with it. Uh, see what it looks like, see how it's built, see how the coils look, things like that. And we will get back into my pros and cons and thoughts on it when we get back up to FaceTime. All right, guys, let's get up close and personal with the Fire Luke 2. I chose the uh, Graffiti Green Edition today to show you. Quick up close look at the packaging. Very simple and good packaging. Bottom. Top. All right, let's go ahead and crack into this. Show you all the package contents and everything. One thing that won me over instantly is the tank is actually threaded into the base. Let's set, off, bleh, set that off to the side. Open her up. Down here you got a TX1 coil. Spare rings and the silica package is still attached to that. And a spare glass. And let's go ahead and tear this little puppy apart. Like I said, I got you the graffiti green edition today show you all about it. Nice 810 drip tip, smooth 510 threads. Base is going to thread off. Inside the package here is a TX2 coil, which buttery smooth threads, just threads out of the base. Thread her back together. Here's your top. Still a nice thick O-ring, just like you had on the Fire Luke 1. A little red dot right there. You press against it, and there's your fill. Close it up. Thread it back together. And you have a Fire Luke 2. Right here, we actually do have a TX3 coil. and a TX4, just for reference. All right, guys, that's gonna wrap up the up close and personal. See you back on FaceTime. Welcome back, guys. Um, so that's the Fire Luke 2 tank up close, all nitty gritty and personal. Um, let's go ahead and run over some pros and cons. Um, pros, better build quality than the original Fire Luke. Uh, fill method, depending on what type of bottle you're using, is a little bit better in my opinion. Uh, it's a lot easier to fill when you're driving or anything like that, even though you really shouldn't. But let's face it, we're all vapors. We all have really bad habits. Um, airflow is a lot smoother in my opinion. The coils that it comes with and are offered, the airflow is a little bit smoother in them. Uh, 
Let's get to the cons, and the coils are the cons. Um, I cannot get a coil to last more than a month, or a month, yeah. I wish it would last a month. I wouldn't complain as much. I can't get a coil to last more than a week. Um, that being said, there are four different options available for it right now. We got the uh, TX1, which is 40 to 90, TX2, 40 to 80, TX3, 50 to 90, and the TX4, 40 to 80. Uh, I'm sure you saw those up close in the, uh, up close. Uh, I cannot get a coil to last more than a week. This goes back to my first impressions video where I said I'm getting tired of all these cottons that are just not cotton. There's nothing wrong with cotton. Keep it, keep it simple. It's the KISS method. Keep it simple, stupid. I mean, three and a half months on a regular fire loot coil. I'm going to go back to the regular fire loot coils because thank God they're compatible. At least Freemax understands that. But just stick with cotton. There's nothing wrong with it. You're not getting better flavor. You're not getting better life. You're getting the complete opposite of what they're trying to sell you. I'm, like I said, I'm going back to the original Fire Loop coils, but I am still going to put them in the Fire Loop 2 because at the end of the day, it is built better. It is a better hitting tank, in my opinion. It is definitely smoother. Um, the airflow is smoother to adjust. It's easier to fill. Uh, I mean, let's go ahead and break it down to the question that most people are actually here for. If I were to lose this or break this today, because... I'm accident prone, would I buy another one? And the answer is maybe. I mean, it's built better, yes, but I still have my original Fire Luke. I'm, if that broke and this broke, I'd probably end up buying another Fire Luke too. But at this point, I would simply just go back to my original Fire Luke. Um, if I didn't have that, yes, I would buy another one. I would just continue to run the original Fire Luke coils in it. I mean, I'd go the two weeks that I would get out of those two coils. Now, keep in mind, I am running Sweet Juice. I got uh, Sad Boy's Butter Cookie in here right now. 75 watts, I'm running the TX2. What's disconcerting is I put this coil in on Saturday and I'm already getting burnt hits. Now, when I got three and a half months out of that original Fire Luke coil, I bounced between the one and Sad Boy nonstop for those three months. It's not the juice that's killing these, partially. It's the cotton. Uh, but yeah, I would probably buy another one if I had no other option. But I'm going back to the original Fire Luke coils. Well, on that note, little disappointing news with the uh, Fire Luke 2. I'll get you another up close with it real quick. I bumped my mic. Son of a bitch. It does look good. It's built good. The coils aren't that good. They are good on flavor. They're good on airflow. I'm lazy. I'm very lazy when it comes to changing my coils. Uh, yeah, on that, on that note, this is Dustin with Awesome Sauce Vapor bringing you the full review for the Fire Luke 2. Catch you guys in the next video. See ya.